Today I wanted to show you how to digitally organize your life. I've seen so many people using their computers and seeing their file structures and I also just whenever I'm watching online tutorials and watch people move their files around, sometimes it makes me cringe on how they actually organize everything and I don't even understand how they find stuff. Obviously everybody can have their own system as long as you can find it, you can find it, but today I wanted to break down how I organize my files and show you exactly how to digitally organize your life so that not only will you be able to find everything that you want uh, whenever you want to find it. So for this I'm going to be specifically talking about how to organize your video files or your photography. You could apply this to other things but really there's other systems for documents and things like that that this probably wouldn't work the best for. This is more for how to organize your media. So what to do once you take your SD card out of your camera and you want to load the photos onto your computer, put them on a hard drive, same with your video and how to store that in a way that makes sense. Let's jump into it. So this is my primary hard drive up here in the corner. I'm gonna double click on this Lacey drive. And before we jump into the actual files, I just wanna point out the specific view that I'm gonna be looking at these files in. To me, there is no other view you should be using in Finder to look through your files. Up here on the menu bar, you have your icon view and then list view, the column view, and this one is cover flow. So the downsides to each of these views is in the icon view, you have your folders in these icons, and if you wanted to go into one, you'd have to double click into it. And so if I double click into video, I'd have to double click into here. And then to get back, you have to go up here to the back button and go back and back. In the list view, you, same th kind of same thing, you have to drill down using these uh, triangles into each of the folders. And cover flow is basically just list view with a visualization up here so you can see maybe photos or something that you're looking through. But column view is, in my opinion, the easiest way to navigate files because one, you, ne you actually never have to click. You can use your keyboard for the entire thing. So once I open the actual hard drive, there's all these folders and I can use my right arrow key from there and it goes right into that, fo that folder and anything that's selected automatically opens to the right. So if I wanna go down to video, I can use the right arrow key to arrow over to personal, arrow over to these years and I can easily navigate to exactly the, to the footage that I want to without ever having to click, just navigating through the folders with my keyboard. Not a bunch of clicking and drilling into folders. Um, and then from here, you can also quickly get back to where you started just by scrolling all the way over. And you can quickly and easily see what folders you went through and go all the way to the beginning in milliseconds. Okay, so let's actually jump into exactly how I organize my files. So there's a couple folders in here right now that are here just for backup and aren't actually part of the system. But I wanna talk about this one through five. So in the hierarchy, this is the first step. And so the reason there are numbers here is because the, the folders are listed alphabetically and I want them specifically to be in this exact order. So I'm the creative director at City Church and so I am in the City Church folder every single day. It's the most open folder that I have. So I want it to be first. That way, whenever I open the hard drive, right whenever I do the right arrow key, it's already in that folder and I can navigate to exactly what I want to do. So then I have design, photography, video, and then side projects. So that obviously applies to very specific things that I am doing, but you can set yours up however you want. But what I wanna specifically talk about is the photography and video folders. So this is for managing your media and how I organize my photos. So let's actually look at the photography folder. As it dives in, now it goes by year. And so you can see I have um, a bunch of years all the way to this year. So once I open the year folder, it immediately goes to broken down by months. And if you were to just do the folder as January, February, March, they wouldn't actually stay in order of months because it's gonna be an alphabetical order. So I number them the month as well. So obviously January is the first month. So it's 01 January, 03 March, 04 April. And then once we're into the month folder, so we go, photography, year, month, and then it's down by day. So again, this is the number represents the actual day it was shot, and then I do a dash and then a description of what actually was shot on that day. So whenever I wanna look for photos, and I know that I went to Europe in January of 2016. So I would go to 2016, go to January, and then it would pop open with the days, and I can see exactly what I did on those days. And if I wanna look at Iceland, I click on the Iceland folder, and inside of that folder, I've made a raw folder, 
and this is all of the raw images. So non-edited, just the raw right out of the camera. And then I have an edits folder that I export all of the processed images to. And then because we're in the column view, if I actually click on a photo, you can see the thumbnail opens in this column and I can easily just scroll through the photos to find the one that I'm looking for. And if I ever wanna see that photo larger, I just hit spacebar to quick look and it opens quick look and then I can hit spacebar again to minimize it. So that's how I organize my photos. I have a photography folder and then list by year, list by month, and then the specific day and then a description of what actually happened that day, a raw and edits folder inside of that folder to keep all of the images organized. So let's go back and look at my video. So. In video, I have three folders instead of just going right into date because I have a personal client and resources folder. And so in the personal folder, this is obviously gonna be my personal videos, vlogs, things like that. Client is going to be videos that I was actually paid for, that I was hired to do. And then resources is where I just keep any specific uh, video resources, LUTs and music, things like that. But let's actually look at my personal folder and inside the personal folder, it goes now exactly how I do the photos. So 2017 and then it's gonna be month and then it's going to be by day. And then again, I have a short description of what actually happened that day. So I just went to the 1975 concert on the 19th. Um, so if I click on that or I can use my arrow keys to write and then uh, arrow down to the 19th. It opens up. So inside of the day folder, I now have it broken down by footage, music, and project. So inside the footage folder is going to be all the footage from that day. Then in the music folder is gonna be any music that I um, downloaded to use in this video. So inside the project file is gonna be all the saved Premiere project files. And then this last one, that is the actual final export. I don't put the export in its own folder. If I was exporting multiple videos from the same footage, then I probably would have a exports folder and then I would keep all the exported videos in that folder. So this day I actually only used one camera. So all of the video files from that day are just kept in this footage folder. But I do wanna show you how I organize footage whenever I do use multiple cameras throughout a day. So in March, went skydiving with uh, a lot of my friends. So again, same file structure of footage, music, project, and then the export. But inside of the footage folder, I actually now have it broken down by camera. Because for this video, I actually used multiple GoPros, multiple cameras, um, and a drone. I have all the video files put into folders labeled what camera it was shot on. So most of all the main footage was shot on the RX100 Mark V. So I have a folder labeled RX100 and all the files are in there. Then inside of the GoPro folder, I have this one broken down by um, people's names because we had multiple GoPros um, on multiple different people. So if I wanna find the GoPro footage that I'm actually in, just click on the GoPro folder then I click on my name, and then this is all of the GoPro footage from my actual jump. But if I wanted to look at my wife's, I would come over here to Sarah, and I could see all that GoPro footage. Then I also have the drone footage, the RX100 footage. Um, so that's how I organize all the raw footage in the folders. The one quick add-on, just in case you have any questions, is my actual workflow of how I get the footage from the camera onto the hard drive. So right after I'm done shooting this, I'll take the SD card out of the camera and I'll put it into my computer. I will make a folder inside of 2017, April. I will make a folder called 28-Organized um, Digital Life. And then I'll create a footage folder and I will drag and drop the footage from the SD card into that folder first. And then once the files have copied over into the folder, I will actually rename all of the files to specifically tell me what those files are. If you actually look back over here on my skydive footage, you can see that there is the, the name folders and then I have renamed all of the files for Amber Skydive as Amber Skydive. So once the files are copied over into the folder, all you have to do is select all the files so you can click anywhere in the white space below it and you can click and drag up, it'll automatically select it. Or you can use the keyboard shortcut Command A to select all. And then I will secondary click on the files. Then this window opens and about one third of the way down, there is, it says rename five items. And if you click that, it actually brings up this batch rename window. So I have mine set to format, name and index, then custom format. And this is where I would actually type in Amber 
dash skydive. If it's a bunch of footage, I'll start with 100. So the very first file is gonna be skydive 100, skydive 101, 102. Um, and then I, then I click rename. It, it will rename all of the files um, in just a couple seconds. Well, that is my process of how I get things from my camera onto an external hard drive and how I organize it into a date-based system so I can easily find exactly what I'm looking for without having to try to rack my brain to remember where I put it on my computer. So I hope that helps you. And I know there's a lot of people who need this information because I've seen you guys use your computers. You know who you are. So if you have a friend who it drives you crazy to watch them use your computer, send them this video so they can learn how to organize their files in a way that makes sense. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, give it a like, um, subscribe for more vlogs and tech content like this, and we'll see you next time.